Hey guys and gals, it's SonicFan91 here, and today's video is going to be about what I think of the three Cars movies. So over here we have Cars 1. So the plot of Cars 1 is Hot Shot Race Car Lightning McQueen uh, is going to California for a tiebreaker race because he dreams of being the first rookie to win the Piston Cup. But on the way to California, he ends up getting lost and he gets stranded in the town known as Radiator Springs. And he damages the road, so he's forced to do community service and fix it. But along the way, he also learns some lessons about your friends and family, and that it's more important than winning. And over here is the sequel, Cars 2. So the plot of this one is, Lightning McQueen's invited to the World Grand Prix. A race around the world that has the best racers in different countries or something. It's like America, Japan. So the there's three races in the World Grand Prix. And they each take place in a different area of the world. There's Japan, Italy, and London. However, Queen's best friend Mater... Ends up getting mistaken for an American spy. So, Mater has to stop an evil group of old cars named the Lemons. Because they're blowing up cars' engines in the World Grand Prix. So, McQueen is racing in the World Grand Prix while Mater's being a spy and saving the day. And then we got... The last one of the trilogy, Cars 3. So the plot of this one is McQueen's kind of getting old and younger, faster race cars are coming to the Piston Cup circuit. And McQueen is not as good as them. And the main car that's, uh, that's better than McQueen is that black car in the back, Jackson Storm. So McQueen has to train to beat Jackson Storm, and Cruz Ramirez, the yellow car there, is his trainer. So yeah, basically McQueen has to keep practicing and training to beat Jackson Storm, so that he doesn't have to retire. Okay, so my thoughts on all these Cars movies. The first one was my favorite movie as a child, and I still love this movie to this date. Cars 2... It was okay, but not quite as good as the first film. The story was really weak. It had nothing to do with the first movie. So, it's kind of mad, but Cars 2 is an okay movie. And Cars 3 is, in my opinion, the best of the three Cars movies. Because it kind of does have an interesting story. I mean, I know the story's already been done by Rocky 3, but what I mean to say is that Cars 3 is the most mature Cars movie, and, like, it makes us wonder what's gonna happen to Lightning McQueen. Okay, so, Cars 1, 10 out of 10. Cars 2, like, maybe a 7 out of 10. Cars 3, 10 out of 10. So, basically, that's my thoughts on all the Cars movies. I think, kind, I think they're mostly underrated, and, yeah. So, that's my thoughts on all three Cars movies. Thank you for watching. Smash that like button if you enjoyed this video. And don't forget to subscribe. SonicFan91 out.